walk into a store or a restaurant, you want to know that it's clean. But right now, you probably also appreciate knowing that no one there has COVID-19. Well, tonight we've learned that soon business owners and their employees will be able to find out for sure. Our Glenn Counts is with us live tonight. So Glenn, explain how this is going to work. Well, Eric, uh, Atrium Health is about to roll out antibody testing. You know, one of the dangers in opening society back up again is that no one knows who has the virus and who doesn't. What Atrium wants to do is fill in an important part of that puzzle with antibody testing. With that testing, you know who had the virus and who is probably immune. Benny's Pizza is a neighborhood favorite in Noda. Not only are customers interested in their humongous slices, right. these days they want to make sure the place is virus free. Yeah, which is good and like making sure you like keep your hands washed and like still trying to keep only a certain amount of people in the restaurant like being safe. Now Atrium Health is offering Benny's and other businesses a way to know which employees may have had COVID-19 and now have a clean bill of health. You know, I think we're expecting less than 10% of the people tested. To be Atrium Health announced today that starting next week, it will offer antibody tests first to its own employees and then to any employer in the Charlotte area, no matter how big or small. The test will tell if a person developed antibodies to the virus. A positive results mean that they had it, got over it, and are no longer contagious. So who pays for these tests? For employers, the cost will be will be uh, uh, paid by the employer who is requesting these tests. The hospital is using its own lab, which means a quick turnaround, less than 24 hours for results. Those results can also help businesses as the state gradually reopens by telling them which workers are no longer a health risk. Atrium says a lot of businesses are already on board. It's all the big companies in town that you would you would um, assume would be interested in this and, and small companies. I think that would be a good idea just for like the safety of others. So Glenn, what about members of the general public? Can they get this blood test? Well, the short answer to that, Erica, is no. It's uh, for the most part a business cool, uh, excuse me, tool. But let's just say, for example, that uh, you were sick a while back and you think now maybe you had the virus. Well, under those circumstances, the hospital will arrange for you to get a test. Okay, Glenn, thank you. While antibody testing is critical, the rollout of the tests caused some confusion and frustration. Right now, there is no coordinated federal effort to track raw testing data from individual states. That has left some wondering if the tests they're using are accurate. To speed things up, the FDA loosened restrictions on companies that produce these tests. But the agency was not checking to see whether those tests actually work. On Monday, the FDA shifted that policy to require manufacturers to get approval to produce the tests.